Crane's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, fucking fuck, man! Tell me what you know now! You can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! Oh my god! Bigby! Wait, don't! I, I, I didn't do anything! I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up! I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all! They can't talk because of that spell, but once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over! That's all, please! I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent! Ah! Wait, I can't... You have to just give me the chance! This will work! I assure you, everything will be solved! I went to you! Damn you, come on, please! Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't? Love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Been chasing this guy. Just why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this. Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? <laughs> you know, when I saw you come back here... This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. Because if it was up to me, you'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. 
And you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. What are you saying? What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it.
It just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. We'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> 